All right, so we're here. We're here with Team Irv or Irv Miller's e EMS, right? EMS, right, Irv Miller Stable. Irv Miller Stable. So, uh, right. listen, you're the boss. We got the whole crew here, so so we'll go, yep. go ahead. I'm going to introduce line. everybody. Introduce everybody. I'm Irv Miller. Well, if, listen, if people don't know Part that of the time, now, the trainer of the stable. Okay, part of the time. Another part, it's Hannah. Okay. My Hannah. daughter, Hannah Miller. Next is Brandon, top of the line, Brandon. And then Atley's our team leader here when I'm not here. So okay. Atley Bender takes care of things when I'm not around. Top of the line, Brandon. Is that his nickname? Yeah. Is is that like? Does everybody? He's have starting to take it. He's 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 getting more focused here lately. So. Okay. Why why is that? Yeah, I think he's growing up. He's finally starting to get a few years on him. Okay. We got uh, several people here uh, now for the amount of horses we got, and Hannah was just kind of. Uh, helping us out a lot with especially the trotters she's doing okay. good with the trotters you know keeping them flat and all those making boys. them perform the way they're supposed to 90 percent of the amateur races are trot, trotters right? that's yeah. what she's got the knack for it so but so, anyhow we've got enough uh, trainers here that hopefully we'll be able to handle it with brandon and atley there right. atley carrying the load atley keeps everybody organized now atley uh first time that because you guys pretty much go the same trainer on the same horse pretty much throughout the whole season, right? Uh, somewhat, yeah. We like to mix it up and see who fits. I mean, okay, messes so, with that horse the best. And So whatnot. now, next week when Hannah's not here and you guys go start going with the horse that she was with, who's going to – first guy that messes up, is he is he canned? Cause, or are you, you going to have to raise Hannah's salary to bring her back? Or yeah. what's – Yeah, and, uh, Adley's a little bit like – some of the owners and trainers are he wants to boot the trainer right Just, quick and okay. put somebody else put up somebody else know. down yep he makes the sheets so if brandon <laughs> lets him run Allie crosses him off and puts the next guy up. that's it so, so we, uh are, are we gonna have like what we'll go with brandon did you guys start as caretakers uh did you jump right in training or uh, like Brand, brandon's been with us four four and a half years and uh, about the same for Atlee. They've okay. been here about the same time. Okay, so so four and a half. Brandon, uh, how did you start here? Did you come in as a trainer, groom? Um, uh, I, I came in as a groom, groom for a while. Then I started as a trainer. So you just started jogging and then training and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And now we're dealing, I mean, you guys deal with two-year-olds, three-year-olds. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, two and three-year-olds. Two and three-year-olds most of the time. And Brandon does a good job. He, you know, he kind of took a while to get, get into our system, but he's got it. Sure. So, uh, and, and then at least, what about you? Same thing? Did you start here, trainer, groom, caretaker? What was the... What I started the... in uh, just jogging and then okay. gradually training and now you're running. Hey, at least history is he was a pony racer. He raced ponies in northern Indiana. Okay. Before he come to work here. So, and he was one of the Wayne Miller's friends. Okay. That's how he started here. And so. that's pretty much your, I mean, your territory, right? Illinois, Indiana. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Midwest, yeah. So... You guys, are, uh, you have a lot of employees that are here longer than, than these two guys, right? Right. right. Wait, which you don't see, by the way. Uh, a lot of stables, they're, they're flipping over uh, every six months. So. Right. We've got a couple guys for Indiana, um, TT and LB. Um, we'll be showing them, too. But sure. they, um, the TT's been here almost uh, 12 and a half, 13 years. And uh, LB's been here four and a half, five years. Okay. So, all right. All right. For, Pretend like he's not here. I know he's the boss. All right, you guys have been here four years. You've been here 26. All right, let, let, let's, ha let's improve the work conditions. Do we have more birthday parties? Uh, do, do we have five-year anniversaries? Do we have, uh, what, paid vacations? What's, come on, let, let, let's work together here. Take it easy so, on all this. It's easy. See? Now I think it's all right. Maybe a little more golfing in the in the winter. Okay, yeah, maybe so the maybe so we can set up too. So, oh, okay. So you you, you guys uh, all golf together? Do you take the crew out, or is uh, uh, you kind of whoever likes to golf golfs? Yeah, most of the time. What we've worked is uh, Saturdays is normally a long day here, so we've tried to make Thursdays a little lighter day, and and some of the guys get out and golf or go. Okay. Do whatever they want on who's the, the Thursday earlier. Who's day. the best golfer? Is it still is it still uh, Irv here? You're the best. It golfer? depends on what day you're asking, but most of the time, yeah. Well, who's who is your competition? Hannah's pretty tough. The rest of them around here are pretty easy, but okay. So, <laughs> you guys, so do you guys give them a, a, a handicap, like, or are you just trying to teach them? No, Allie's the toughest golfer here. We we'll give him a little credit. Uh, little how many how many times you beat Irv? Every time, except. Nah, I don't know. I'll let it slide. Except, put that okay. except in there pretty well, big. Every once in a while. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, 
Brandon, is Brandon golfing? Do you got try to get everybody out on the golf course? Not give, them the, give them the mic there. Well, you yeah. gotta give them the mic. No, I don't golf. I just take Irv money and cornhole. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, where, where's the where's the Irv Miller uh, cornhole uh, setup? Exactly. We need to get it over here, a little practice, well, because it, Hadley and Brandon they want to practice every night, and we just can't have that. I have it on standby. Okay. So, so you got it. On, I mean, do we have it all painted up? Do we have official regulated? No, section? we're still working on painting it. Well, isn't that his or is his job just supposed to be on the track? Like, when who's going to step up and do all the the off the field, uh, off the track stuff? Is that his job? Who, who's going to step up here? Well, we got people <laughs> making it happen. We got okay. people in the right places. Yeah. So uh, now, now talking about Thursday, I hear that uh, I'm, I'm, I may have to actually cancel my Thursday plans because I hear that uh, I hear that you're you're quite the chef around well, here. You never know when you, do, you you might need a job. You know, if we need a job, then I, I you got might a backup need, okay. plan. Yeah, like a like a yeah, I could be chef. a chef or okay. something. You know, okay. that's what I'm I'm working that up. I've got this week. I had ninety clients. Right, ninety, 90 clients. sandwiches. Yeah, so, ninety breakfast sandwiches. So if I can keep working that up, maybe get a grand, you know, around a thousand of them, then that wouldn't be a bad job. Is he? Uh, does he allow requests, or is he just throwing out, you know, uh, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches to everybody? And and he doesn't like. What if I want my egg over that, easy, or that, fried, or that, scrambled? That's me and Brandon's deal. It's it's the way we make them. So they're, there's they're no, at the mercy of so what we give them. Herb has the final say on everything. Yeah, Brandon's much. my, he's my uh, part-time. Well, who's the better chef? Is uh, I mean, is or are you still learning from him? It's like he's I'm better. I'm still learning from him. Okay. Well, I mean, is he, is he, uh, where is he, where is he hard? Is he harder in the kitchen or on the track and in the barn? Hey, you know what we better get to? We better get to the real stuff, the horses. Oh, you want to talk about the horses? Yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough, because fair that enough. food stuff, we're, we're not to that yet. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's closer than you think. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so do you guys have, uh, we'll, we'll start with, we'll start with Hannah. Okay. All right. We got, you got two year olds, three year olds, trotters, pacers, fillies, colts. Did I miss anything? That's pretty much all you guys got, right? Yeah. We got a little bit of everything. Right. A little bit of yeah. everything. Is there a specific type of horse? type that you like to go with or do you every year when you're dealing with these horses you find a certain type that you like or specific one that hey maybe this one was a little troublemaker in the beginning and now it's coming along and now it's uh, the star of the bunch uh, and any of yeah i think it's all unique to each horse each horse is an individual and you find the ones that you like more than the other ones the ones that you get along with better and if you don't get along with them you're going to know right away and we'll put somebody else down on them but there's a th- we all think our, we have our favorites right now. Okay, well, you who's know? your favorite? My, oh, well, like, I you, like, there, there are several favorites. Name. I'm not going to say any you names. You just say a trot, this two-year-old but trot I do, and we got? Yeah, or? there's a two-year-old trot and colt that I really like and have been going with him most of the time. He's very nice. Um, I actually have a, a homebred filly, Pace and Philly, and she's a little smaller, but she's well-gated, and I like her a lot. Okay. She's named after a dog. <laughs> she that, is. Oh, okay. There's a, there we'll throw, it, throw in that part. She is also named after my okay. dog who passed away last year, so that's kind of sentimental. So and uh, is it, do you like it when they're good right from the start and you just watch them be really good or? i mean not necessarily are you we we see all horses and there's some that you, they start out and they're not so good but then three months later they're amazing and you like to see them you know transform into that i think that's the exciting part about it all brandon what about you uh yeah so is there because you're i also know that you're going to be getting your qualifying license soon right yeah so you're kind of making this ascension from you know from start at the bottom working your way up the ladder so has there, do you like working with the babies, three-year-olds? Do you like to go fast? Some of these guys, all they want to do is speed, right? right. These prima donna yeah. drivers. You got to watch him because that's what he likes. He just do. likes he to go speed. And, yeah. You tell him to go a mile in 220 and he's, he's going you gotta 28. Watch him. Yeah. Is, yeah. He, is he good at leaning back? Like, do, you ha- do we have any role models? Yeah, no, he does that. He's got them handholds way forward. Okay, okay. so you, you've kind yeah. of put the kibosh to that. Yeah, we, we keep him under control. If, if Irv's not here... Yeah. Is that when you're setting the handholds back and no, rocking and rolling? I pretty much keep them where I can control them. Okay. Yeah. I don't like the style. <laughs> you, you, you don't. You don't like to. Eventually. No. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Is there? Do you? Do you have a specific trainer driver that you look up to, or is it always Irv? Always Irv. Marcus, right? Yeah, Mark. I like Irv. He does a good job. Okay. What about some of the horses? Do you like the, the two-year-olds, the three-year-olds, trotters, pacers? 
Well, I've been working with the two-year-olds a lot, and I like the way it's going with them. Okay. Pretty good, so I would say two-year-olds. Okay. Is there just the growth of them? Yeah. It's nice watching them come from nothing to something. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, Come on, Brandon. Give us a couple of your good picks well, out of your barn, out of your shed row. Let's see. I have one daily deal, two-year-old pacer. He's pretty nice. I like him. Well, what does he do? Why, why do you like him? Because when he... When he when you tip the right line, he goes, or oh, yeah. he's relaxed. Yep. Okay. He's um he just does everything you tell him to do. And you've been pretty much going with him the whole time. Yeah. So is that something maybe you feel like yeah I, I, this is me this is my horse exactly like, like yeah. I put my imprint on it. Yep. So do you care right now if they're trotters or pacers or fillies or colts or if they're grabby no, or not, not really. We have so many that you get your chance with you a just, lot of them. I mean, we, we recorded about eight sessions today, eight sessions yesterday. You almost can't. You just jump on one. We know what this horse does and then get off the next one, fix that one if, if there is, yep. and then move on to the next one, right? Yep. And then uh, what about you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Barn Manager? Mr. Bender, Barn Manager. Mr. Yeah. So give us – do you like – are, are you starting to like more off the stuff where you're starting to boss people around? And, I, really, I like the horses better. Okay. <laughs> if, uh, if, if somebody like, um, you know, maybe puts a wheel under you in a training mile or something, do you all of a sudden forget to put them on the training sheet the following week? No, I just no? make hard a horse to drive. Okay. And they get, you know, so is he, is he the, right. is he the most aggressive out there? He, he's pretty aggressive. He's pretty aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to roll. When he moves one, you better look out. He might run you over. Okay, so do you like the do you like strictly on the track stuff and the barn stuff is part of the job or I like you, it all. I mean, you, it's, you like it all. I like the track stuff the best, but making the barn run smooth. Do you want to be trainer or do you want to do you want to go where Brandon's going with uh, with some of the driving stuff? I'd like to be a full time driver. I could have a chance, but if that don't work out. I'll be a trainer. Well, what do you mean if you make your chances, right? Yeah. You make your opportunities. Trying to, yeah. So now. When when these guys, I mean, had a fly birdie fly out of the nest, you know, I'm sure you've had plenty of uh, plenty of other guy, other people that have worked for you. They come in the stable, they go on to bigger, better things. You kind of, you're not only breaking horses, you're breaking some of the some of the future of the business, right? Especially when you got some like Brandon. I mean, it takes some work to get that one to come okay. around. So so Adley's a little easier, but if you get his golf game straightened out, they'll be all right. Okay, so you kind of. Are you uh, are you like the the grandfather father figure to everybody here? Is that is that kind of a role you like to take? I don't know if it's kind of the role. I think it's just as much fun sometimes seeing, especially my uh, two children, uh, Hannah and Marcus, doing real well on the racetrack. But it's the same for somebody like Brandon coming from where he started with not much in the horse, you know, not much involvement, and then seeing him really really do well with the horses. That's big time for me too. Now you guys stay on all year, right? Yep. So you're gonna be when you guys leave here, you're gonna go. Well, you have Pennsylvania, Indiana. What what are the operations? Yeah, the um, TT and LV they go to uh, Indiana and they take a couple grooms, two or three grooms with them uh, from down here, and then they'll pick one up up there or something like that to make it work. Okay. And um, they handle that with about 20, 15, 20 horses. And then we'll take the rest of them, about 80 of them, 75, 80 of them, and go to Pennsylvania and Adley and Brandon and uh, a group of other trainers here and, and all of our grooms ship up there and, and try to get it done on the East Coast. Sure, and you guys are shipping all over the place. Has there been, uh, you know, a couple more questions. Has there been a favorite race or track that you like when Eric says, hey, you're going here? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm i taking that role. I like Tioga. Tioga? Why? I like making those trips. It's just a nice trip up there, and I like racing that track. Yeah, he got to drive them up there last oh, year. Okay. So, nice. you know, See, they're, there we go. There we they're go. a little bigger deal when you get to go take them to race, and then you drive them, too. Drive if you're now, just shipping them to race, somebody else drives them. It's not quite the same. Just ask him. That's now, why I like Tioga. Again, Irv's not here. When you ship to Tioga... Did you hire your own private chauffeur because now you're a prima donna driver? Yeah. Did you have your colors, you know, privately dry clean? Like what did you, you got to make the step mentally to, yeah. to these, to the prima donna drivers, you know, you, you can't compete uh, without doing that. So was there, or do you, do you still make him paddock and you know drive? He's, and, he's <laughs> trying to get some, he's trying to get some hints from Dave Miller down here. Okay. That, that's yeah, the Dave's, problem. That, Dave yeah, he's trying to, but it, it's hard. 
it's hard for it's, him to get hard. that yeah and then uh brandon what about you what was your favorite track or race that you went to uh, go race at um i think my favorite race was <coughs> the hamiltonia okay i like that even though so just to go and visit even what about yep. for work for work um i would say poconos some of the big races or you, you don't really care what type of race uh, i really don't care so you like just the well, what's your yep. favorite part about pocono Mm, it's fast fast yeah okay it's i mean it probably is a fast i think it's closest to homes is still like okay. it's just like a 45 minute ship I <laughs> oh think that's okay that, see getting. listen yeah. there, there's a i know what it's like so oh hannah do you have a specific uh race that you know a family horse have been in and you say hey that's that's it that's what i love oh there's so many and there's it's so hard to pick i mean we've been to so many races and i have been to a lot but I don't, to put one, I mean, obviously we've been in the Hamiltonian a couple times. I would like to see us in the winter circle there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and I, I, like, I like racing at the Meadowlands. Meadowlands. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's. That's you know, where it's supposed that's to be, right? Kind of. Okay. I think so. And then uh, is, is there anything uh, track that you like? Do you like to go with the guys or you you kind of have so many horses racing all over the place that it's tough for you to. You know, hey, I'm going to ship with you guys. Do you go to the racetrack separately? Like, what yeah, you most of the time I just uh, try to pick out the most important place to be that day. Um, depends on what, of course, what kind of race it is. And the bigger the stake race, most of the time that's where I'll be. Or if it's two-year-olds making their first start. Okay. So, uh, what? listen, it's a little bit easier now. I mean, there's no racing down here. How, how often can you guys golf and have the – the less stressful days once you guys are racing and, and, and going all across uh, the country. Yeah, for the winter time, we do. We try to get the guys out of the barn two or three days a week, a little early, especially Thursdays, and then maybe one or two other days just to get away because through the summertime, we're going uh, seven days a week and pretty hard every day. Yeah, and you guys were, I mean, just, just all out, right? All, all summer long? Yeah. Does that get, uh, I mean, it's draining, but it's part of the deal right is yeah. it because you guys have worked with these horses all year long does that help on those long nights on those long ships those you know days where you're everybody's tired and it's it's, it's hard work. i think one of the things that happens is um these guys or the guys we got anyhow hannah brought it to my attention more than anybody uh, earlier in the year here is they're very conscientious about their work so they they're very concerned about the horses and they mm -hmm. really want to see them do well so they'll go with the horse to race it just to make sure it does well if it's in their shed row or something that they like yeah. and I, I think that helps that you guys have watched these horses grow up and mature into the in the race horses right yeah so. I, I think we like it so much that we don't look at it as work sure you know? well and, and listen again there, there's always going to be times when you drain but when you have that connection to the horse yep. for eight months nine months to, and now the three-year-olds were going on 18 months that that's that's hard to say you know what uh, i got to make sure this because it's like family right yeah do you guys have a one last question do you guys have a special kind of i mean is it like a big family here where i mean how many oh, yes. employees do you have yeah we have uh, what do you think 35? Around 25, 25. 25 between 25 and 30. um and yeah we try to treat everybody as fair as we can are you guys hiring uh, not for me not for me right that's what i'm saying depends no, no. on who's asking you okay know. yeah so my so yeah the, the crazy media guy no 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 we, we we need somebody quiet in the bar right do you right. guys quiet, quiet and um and uh, uh portable they gotta be able to move to pennsylvania okay okay fair enough so all right last question for each of you all right give me a uh give me a two hundred fifty thousand dollar race you're gonna win this year and the horse i'm i'm putting pressure i'm putting pressure Ooh. Pressure. New York Sire Stakes final with Tito. Tito, what's uh, what is that? Uh, three year old trotting call. Three year old trotting call. Yeah. Uh, and I'm assuming he did pretty well last year on the circuit. Yeah. He was okay. Good. So Started around the half, real good. And okay. Like That's not on Night of Champions he, this year. Or, he's I mean, he's picking a three to five or a, a three to one shot. Let Brandon pick. Brandon okay. will pick a ten to Brandon? one shot. Oh, and Let's and he, he, you know what? Actually, it doesn't have to be. A, Give me the horse that when it wins a race that you'll be most proud of. Um, I think top expectations. Okay. Three-year-old trying to feel it. Why is that? She's nice. 
Yeah, you're not picking the horse that you'll be most proud of because she's supposed to win. Um, let's see. But most that's not a bad pick. She's training good right now. You could pick her for the Hamiltonian Oaks, right? Yep. There you I go. Have, um, two old Tron filler. Looking forward to Miss Heidi. Okay. What? What's she? Is she uh, Pennsylvania, New York? She's PA, right? New, New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you like? Do you guys uh, rotate traveling? Like, I'm going to yeah. New York. Okay. Yeah. Or do you do you send him with last the year? Horse? Last year, Brandon did a lot of the Buffalo, the Vernon ships, okay, New York. Yeah. He did a lot okay. of those. Saratoga. Okay. And then yeah. uh, Hannah, what do you think? What's get? Give me one horse. Oh. oh, oh. Let's do a two-year-old pace and ca- first crop Captain Treacherous Philly. Okay. Let's just dream big. Let's let's go for the Breeders' Crown. Okay. I'm in. I'm yeah. Two-year-old I'm game. Breeders' Crown. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, last last for, we'll, we'll we'll put the man on the spot. You got a hundred horses. I'm making you pick one. <laughs> one for what? Yeah. For the money? Which one to get the money? Uh yeah, big, biggest biggest purse race you're gonna win this year. Biggest purse race you're gonna yeah. win this year. Yeah. Wow, that is on the spot, right? That is on the spot. Yeah, I'd probably have to go with what Brandon said. I think that's a probably a pretty good shot. Okay, is um, top expectation Hamiltonian note. There we go. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, so there's 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 the main crew. Well, listen, everybody else is still working. It's a it's a busy operation, and uh, me and Irv are gonna chat for a little bit, uh, you know, on our own. So you guys get back to work. Right. Get back to exactly. Work. Do we're, something. We're go do something. Stop. Uh, yeah. This, this is not part of the day. You still gotta go finish work, and uh, so. Uh, just, just everybody say goodbye, and uh, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, thank See you. you. All right.